Today is May 14th. We are in the superintendent's uh, conference room at the Amherst Regional Middle School. Um, and this is being recorded by Amherst Media. Um, I'm going to move into our agenda uh, and call us to order. Uh, and the first item of business is approved minutes from previous meeting. And I forgot to print them out, so I'm not going to remember exactly what the date was, but I think April it was 3rd. April, April 3rd. Exactly. Thank you. Um, I think there were two, right? You sent one, I sent one. You made one, and I, you sent two. Two versions of that one? No, you sent... Oh, it was probably the previous meeting as yes. well, um, which would have been March. Three thirteen, maybe no, three thirteen. That was no, that was already approved. Yeah. That three thirteen and four three were the last two meetings. Okay. Okay. So well, we will we will presume that that is the, correct. The email that you sent yesterday only has four three attached. Yeah. The, the, those <coughs> other the other set of meeting minutes, if I'm remembering what Arena's memory would have been three or four weeks ago, probably not long after the the last meeting. But we could start with the, the most recent ones. Does anyone have any corrections to that, that set of minutes? Motion to approve minutes of four, uh, four three. Second. All in favor? I'll have because I was on that meeting. Um, I'm a little nervous to uh, uh, ask for a motion on a, <laughs> a set that I can't recall the, the dates of. Um, but I think uh, there was a set that Allison had sent around. And I would have to go back to previous minutes to confirm that, that we had or had not approved those. The devices can determine that. Look like it's it's outstanding. Well, we might we might have to, have to resend those around. I think the most recent minutes it should be in the first paragraph. The first Allison, the Allison minute. did the four ten minutes. Four ten minutes. Okay. Um, but have we actually seen those? No. Okay. Yes, she sent them. I think she sent them around. Okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that I dropped the ball that I didn't send those around and I'll have to send them around and we'll have to move them at a, a future meeting. Um, moving on, the next item is public comment. Uh, Oops, who is, who is taking minutes today? Ah, uh, yes. I can do it. Okay. Now, moving on to public comment, which we don't have any. We have no members of the public today. Um, so we'll move on to uh, reviewing the latest draft um, that uh, TSKP has sent to us for the study. Um, I know you've gotten some comments back. Uh, most of them, at least in my review of them, were kind of uh, periods, commas, you know, kind of that sort of level of stuff. Are are there ones you would like to highlight to us that were kind of um, content ones that you feel you need uh, comment on? No, I think um, I see most of them as copy editing, like you okay. said. So unless you have some that are open questions that you're thinking of that you'd like to discuss, I think we can we can address all the comments we received in the final final. Uh, okay. So I will do. I will open it up to my group to uh, see if they had other comments. Verena? I don't, I have some questions and I didn't send all my comments. Yeah. Um, I have to find, I think the major question I have, I have some editing, maybe some summer editing. Um, one is about the cost, um, the between the UI 50 and the UI 30, and I think we have to address, I think, I don't know, you said I said some comments as well about um, um, because my question is does the MSPA reimburse us for the solar panels? The calculations are assuming that they do. Yeah, I, I think they would, except um, when you think about the fact that they have a cost per square foot cap. So considering your project costs more than that cap, is it the solar panels that are driving you over or just the fact that it depends how you look at that? No, project. I'm just trying to think about because whether it has an impact on the overall cost, whether they do reverse as a practice 
the cost of the solar panels or they don't because they would reimburse us for an EUIS 30 better uh, envelope and better windows, no problem. If, if there was a discussion on whether they do or they don't reimburse the solar panels, then the UIS 30 becomes cheaper than the UIS 50 because the cost of the construction of improving the envelope and the windows directly fall to in the construction and it's not an add-on like the solar panels. Well, in our um, MSBA share calculations, we assume that they did reimburse the cost of the panels. Yes. So you're seeing that reduction in cost of town in our calculations. Yes, but that my quest that's my question. You assume that they reimburse the solar panels. Is it standard that they reimburse solar panels or not? That's our understanding. Okay. You know, you'd have to, when the project would go forward with the MSBA, I guess you would find out officially at the end of schematic design. but. We because see no reason that they wouldn't. Because it has a big impact <coughs> on cost because there is on the, right now the UI 30 is more expensive by $1.2 million, but actually on solid, the UI 50, the difference between the two is uh, all the solar panels, there are $4 million difference or $3.5 million difference between the cost of the solar panels. But those $3.5 million would be reimbursed. If I could just, uh, Interject uh, something somewhat related. It, am I not? Uh, am I? In, uh, am I incorrect in believing that we, we would get reimbursements for even for the EY fifty because it's better than code, um, or right. there is a additional step up for for. So now you're talking about the incentive point, right? And so being twenty percent better than code achieves um, two percent of additional reimbursement. And uh, yes, <coughs> we'd achieve that with the EUI 50. Um, Maria, and then I think Eric also had a point. So I, I, I would like to get, um, me, if we could get more clarity just about the solar panels. I believe that was a question in the previous building project of like, you know, it was, meant, it was gonna be solar ready, but not have solar panels. And sure. I think there might've been a reason for that in terms of reimbursement. Also, um, uh, I don't know, it maybe Eric, you know, from the middle school roof um, application that we just did, maybe if, if there is information about do they reimburse or not, it would be good to know or at least have a statement that says if they do reimburse this, if they don't reimburse that. Um, and then to, to the other point of EUI 30 versus 50, I think that um, some of the comments that, that I sent directly addressed that and said that if, if it really is the case, because I was looking through and it looks like the construction cost per square foot and the total project costs are actually lower for option A, EUI 30 versus 50. And I think that's an important point to make. I think we might want to, if, 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 I, if I did read that correctly, I'd want to um, highlight that a little bit in the introduction and in the cost analysis because I don't follow you with that last statement. That I, I remember it being more expensive. Maybe we should look at where you're seeing that. But yeah. going back to the initial discussion and trying to explain my first answer a little bit further, um, the MSBA is capping the amount of reimbursement money at a certain cost per square foot, which both the EUI 50 and EUI 30 exceed. And because of the cost of solar panels, EUI 30 exceeds it even more. And so you can think of the solar panels as generally being reimbursable. However, because the project is so far over this cost per square foot cap, they're not really reimbursed. And so that may have been a strategy in the Wildwood or in a previous project that the town pursued in that you don't want to make the cost of the project even more, um, even higher because you know that those additional costs over the MSBA's threshold are no longer reimbursable. I could understand that. Did I explain? Kind of not. Not fully. No, I mean, I, I get what you're saying that you know we're no matter what we're going to be over the the ridiculously low MSBA cost right. per square foot cap. Um, but if you, I mean, if we go to section eight, um, and I'm on page forty six, <coughs> um, which has got option A EUI fifty, and then forty seven is EUI thirty for option A. So the total construction cost for the 
this is for the 465 option, is 50.5 million for sure. EUI 50, right? And it's 46.9 for EUI 30, and the cost per square foot likewise is 593, and then 552. So that's what that's where I was looking when I was saying, oh, you know, that's kind of that's an interesting point. It you know, going to a more efficient building. Um, even though you're investing more in the in the envelope and you're doing those things because you have so much less PV and other issues, it, it um, there's something that's making that actually cost less. And if that's really the case, I think we should talk about that. Um, mm. Quite quite aside, I mean, there's that issue and then there's a the reimbursement issue. So there's the two separate issues. Um, so that's what I was curious about, okay. and uh, sure. I, I want to make sure I'm interpreting that correctly before we go saying that. Mm -hmm. I think part of the difference is going the GC route. That's what, um, that's what's, that's the third factor. So yes, I, I think that um, that does make sense, but it's not simply being more efficient because if you stay sort of apples to apples, the CM route for both EUI 30 and EUI 50, the EUI 50 is going to be a little bit cheaper. Um, but because we're comparing basically a CM method, because it compares with all the rest of our options, uh, EUI 50 to a GC method, that the GC is coming in a little bit less expensive. I believe that's the third factor that's in play between the two that you're comparing. So back on 40, spot, 40 oh wait a minute, GC, GC method for EUI 30, CM method for, oh. Do you follow me? Now I've got it, yeah, so, on, so page, just for, um, anybody that's trying to follow along. So page 46 where we have the EUI 50, that's CM at risk, and um, 47 GC. is GC. Um, <coughs> which, hmm. And that, that specific one is in there because we are that was part of the case studies. Yeah. Correct, yes. And then you had us add that mm -hmm. estimate to reflect the case study to give some backup to it. Yeah. Um, then, um, since I was confused, it might be that other people would look at this and have make the same mistake. So maybe either <laughs> um, have a head-to-head -head where the only thing that's different is the EUI. Sure. Or, um, and or, um, uh, I made another comment later on about, or uh, is it in, I'm trying to think which section it's in, where we have the two tables, you know, the massive tables with all the 100 plus options. Yes. Um, to maybe make one of those tables, since the only difference between those current tables are the 1.25 um, factor, right? For Between construction soft costs cost. and project Right, costs. construction versus total project. Mm -hmm. Maybe it makes more sense to have one of those, possibly the construction cost one, be more of a construction cost per square foot, um, and then instead of having the all of that grid of options with all of the different HVAC systems, maybe do GCCM, EUI 30, EUI 50, and have uh, so that you can look at that table and have some kind of summary where you get you can get a sense of this is the effect of energy efficiency, this is the effect of um, procurement method. Something more simple, you know what I mean? It could be there. I would also direct you to this analysis, which I think you yeah. probably recall, that compares yeah, that's, EUI yeah, that's 30 the other place they had, and EUI yeah. 50. Yeah. And it, it starts to show the, the additional cost which isn't, isn't great, but there is <coughs> some additional cost when you try to compare apples to apples going with the more efficient building yeah. versus the um, building to code, which just supplements it with solar panels. To so me, that's a clearer place to make that distinction, so maybe it needs... I think it's made we, there. Yeah, um, a little bit more reinforcement. Maybe we could reinforce it. We could note that the case study to follow um, sort of changes the recipe a little bit further. Something like that. If what's, um, um, just for my note, what section is that in again? Is that it's also in section six. Six point nine or? Um, that's yeah. section the six point six point four. Paths to net zero. Okay. Um, 
You had also asked about the power purchase agreement. Yeah. And that, that fits in this discussion well. Right. Um, as Rudy clarified at the last meeting, the very most recent version of the net zero or the zero energy bylaw has removed power purchase agreement as an option to the town. Um, as, as you're pursuing net zero, you need to now own the solar panels that you use. You can't lease them, uh, which is a recent change. In, um, or maybe it wasn't recent, but you had to get the very last version of the zero energy bylaw to see that. Um, and and it's, it's, a it's pretty subtle in the statement, but we're, we're proceeding under that um, understanding. And so I think, um, Maria, your comment was, well, let's remove all of the reference to power purchase agreement. And we have removed a lot of it in this draft. You may have missed it. It's, it's been taken out. We did still speak about it in the narrative in some places. Um, really from the point of view that we've thought about it. Um, and, and it could be that that zero energy bylaw adjusts in the future, I'm not sure. Uh, but it, it would at least include in the report the, the ramifications if it, if it comes back, if it becomes an option. So I guess I'm asking you, do you want to keep it in there or do you want to just pull it out altogether? That was my question for the yeah. group as well. I, 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 um, I don't want it to be confusing, but it is information. We did do the work, we, right. you know, um, but we, we need to, That's it has to be a little clearer about where we are right now and what would, that it would require a change. Um, I, I would tend to leave it in because it is something that's, that's a common approach, you know, outside of Amherst's bylaw. No. Um, and it shows that we thought about it. Um, and I would defer to others if, if, if you think just more clarity is needed on the fact that it's not an option currently in Amherst. Eric? I would leave it in, and if you look at the language on page 123, you use uh, section six, uh, the section that has a lengthy discussion of Nigeria. Yes. Um, you, you say in the middle of the page, uh, this would not comply, though this would not comply with the current bylaw, the cost of the project is zero. And I know that's, I mean, if you're gonna leave it in, that at least makes it clear that it's not currently complied with the bylaw. I, I think it should be on the first time that you measure, that you mention, I don't know, I don't remember right now, but we should find in the document where is the first time that you compare the cost buying the, the, the solar panels or not, or leasing. That's the first time that we should mention this, and maybe reinforce it, we repeat it here, but I think not to have to go to section six somewhere in there to find the issue. Uh, oh. I've tried to pare down the times when we talk about leasing to just this part of section six now. But I think the cost is somewhere else. I've seen it. And yeah, that means it's still living there. Yeah. Yeah, I tried to white out those. I saw it in several places. I don't remember where, where was sure. the first place. Um, case study. So that case study line where it talks about least, that probably should have gone. Yeah. And, and so gone. maybe we ask you to just go back one more time and, and clean that out. And yeah. Clean out yeah. all the or and also add on the first time that is mentioned the difference in cost between leasing and adding, that's where it should be on the first Well yeah. if this if you're leaving it to page one twenty three then it would be there. I think yeah, that's exactly. the only place we want. No but I'm saying that would it would it would solve the issue you're talking right. about, right? Yeah. If that's the only only it's mention, the only place it shows up, then that's that's the place to talk about. Yeah. yeah. Or I mean, the other thing is you can always asterisk and footnote it where it shows up in, in tables, just like remember, you know, the, this is not a current option. Um, but you'd have to asterisk it at each one, and I think it's it's probably clearer to remove it. I think since it's not an actually a live option, yeah, yeah. it's better yeah. just to get rid of it. Yeah. yeah. And we did look into it. You're mentioning. So we're going to DC it from tables. Is that what? So I was I already started to do that, but I missed the case study. So it used to be on the same. We used to have a line item at the bottom that says, right. "Oh, yeah. it could right. be zero. Exactly. That you went away. There okay. And I, it's still hanging around on the case study comparison. I'll, I'll remove can, it there. Can we? That add, might be it. Can we re add them? Keep it an, in the appendix. So we want. We don't want to lose this information. We're going to keep it on page one twenty three. Is what I'm hearing. Okay. Yeah, it's, just it's, in the on, it's already on page one twenty three there. And in the narrative, it says, but it's not compliant. Okay. okay. There, Eric, I want, I'm not sure if you had something earlier on that you wanted to. No, okay. I just probably just looked. <laughs> he looked at me with expressive. Yeah, expressive. Exactly. 
Um, other, other, Irina or Maria or others, other comments you want to we'll talk over as a group? Um, well, do we need to talk over all the stuff that no, we I don't sent in? No, I don't think so. And unless it's, it's kind of, my, my recommendation at this point, because I think we this is a, an iterative process, if there's something that's kind of content related that you want to get comment from the rest of us, I th those are the ones I'd like to highlight today. If it's just, you know, kind of, uh, I'm going to call it housekeeping, but you know, kind of cleaning the report up. I think Jesse's already said that he's, he's going to work his way through them. Um, Eric? I'm just concurring with that point. So Jesse already said you've gotten these comments. And that uh, I didn't send them on. Yes. But no, so no. I would encourage you to send them. No, okay. Just send them. Okay. If we, I'm just saying if we sort our conversation, right. we start with the idea that you already have a bunch of them and you're comfortable with them and you've read through them, right? right? Yes. Okay. okay. I guess if, if we do have time, it would be nice, like we did the last time we sent a bunch of comments in sort of individually, and we all, as a group, didn't get to hear what they were. Sure. And I, I, mean, I, I don't necessarily want to discuss all of them, but to get a sense of just how many and what are the general topics, and like, I don't know if, if you're organized in such a way, Jesse, to fly through them. If um, particularly yeah. the non comma here, you yeah. read two right. of those. Yeah, I don't even want to hear about the like, commas. I don't want, I mean, that, no, I was going to say, I don't want to hear any of those. <laughs> yeah, no. But there are some content. Like, I know yeah, I've yeah, no, some sure. content. I'm sure there are content. I'd, I'd be, I'd be very fine. curious to hear what the rest of the committee okay, were fine. finding. Um, and just, it just blow through the depth of those. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have one main comment for the introduction about the phrasing. Maybe, I don't know if this is the place. On page one, two, what section are we in? Section one, page three. Um, maybe it's just a phrase, but sets up the mood of the thing. They say, it says on the first paragraph, they says, the study includes scenarios to add early education, pre kindergarten to Fort Beaver to address the lack of space. I think, do we want to phrase it like, now I'm reading different. Um, but all the studies, all the case studies, everything we are based on the 465. Mm -hmm. And um, I would say, I would maybe change it to the study includes um, early education, pre-K, and with the option to remove it. So our main focus has been on the 465 includes pre-K, and that has been our, all our case studies. And then you include the data for 420, 315, 365. And the main focus has been, we are assuming there is a pre-K. And all the costs are based on that one. And then we also show that it can be removed and how it, it does. But all the major drawings, everything has been based on the 465. Yeah, you don't think the sec sentence after that addresses that? The study includes scenarios to address multiple student enrollment figures? You don't think that's adequate? I mean, the study includes scenarios to add early education program, pre-kindergarten, to Fort River to address a lack of space in the current district program. Yeah. I mean, that's, uh, it's a, that's sort of a convoluted, garbly sentence, yeah. but I think yeah. it's trying to say okay. that we are including, okay. you know, that we are okay. evaluating pre Okay. For me, this is, this is fine as an introduction. Okay. You know, we need to get in deeper depth in other places. But. I and forgive me for that. No, it's good. Well, it's, it's, just, it's not Time Magazine writing. <laughs> <that's> <laughs> when, when, when you're looking at something that's this thick, it's, it's it is not all going to be Emily Dickinson. It's just right. the way it is. <laughs> no, that's why I thought the, the the introduction is what most people are going to read. Right. So then we have to make sure it's that. Anthony, I had a formatting question that I did include in my comments, but I am curious. The way it's set up right now, it has page numbers on the right. Sure. Does that mean that in the final version, the left side page numbers are going to be towards the binding? We can do that. We can make it um, two-sided printing. Yeah. My binder right now works well with just one-sided. But oh, so um, it's going. Oh, so you were going to do one-sided. I'm happy to do two-sided. Right. I think we can make that change if that's the way you'd like to see it. I just assume it will reduce the thickness of this quite a bit. So yeah, I, and while we won't efficient. print off a hundred thousand of these things, in, in the interest of being green, I would encourage us. If it is not sure. a horrible nightmare to, to format it for two side printing, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Easy to do. Did you guys talk about what, how many copies, and who's making? Well, as I was saying that, no, I like did, I did not. We have not really talked about that, and um, we we probably should talk about that. Well, um, do you want to get through this? First? Yeah, let's I mean, get through this first. Important item. Yeah, and for the next 
final steps. Yep. Call. I did have a comment from both Maria and Heather about Section 7 and whether um, we needed to include the community outreach, which um, Heather then forwarded to me. And uh, I can. It, it wasn't clear to me from our last discussion that that was in. We talked about it in, and then we were talking, taking it out. Maybe I missed. What well, do you mean, the memo? The document? The report the that summarizes all the different. We had the website. The document, the document the report. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I mean that document, that thing that we've had. Yes. yes. Yeah. That's what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, we wanted the outline. We wanted yeah. that thing in. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I lost I track. We were, of I that. thought we were like we don't want all the minutes for all no, our meetings. No, but we want we want a list of all of our we meetings. We want that thing. The yeah. thing, right? Yeah. I knew that. Thing. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> this thing we wanted. I called it a memo. You called it a report. Yeah. It's, the, it's the thing. All right, we will include that. We're fine. That's fine. Okay. I have a questions. Uh, I have some comments on section six point nine. Uh, I think some of the comments I can send them. I think they need some. Um, cleaning because they make reference to things that are not appropriate for this project. Um, Sorry, which section? 6.9. But my first comment is on page 5, it says, there's one phrase that's a little bit confusing, so I think it needs to be modified. Okay, what's the... 6.9? Yeah, the page other page number. 5. five. Page, page 141 the PDF, of the document. Yes. 141. Yep. Yes. So okay. uh, it says, we understand the town of Amherst is in the process of, at the bottom of updating the flood maps. The options exploring these studies are based on the new updated flood map. If the town does not update the flood maps, options presented here would need to be revised and might no longer be feasible. feasible. Um, I thought that this is only for option A. Um, well, you have to look carefully at each option now. If that if that hundred year flood line um, goes back or remains as it is, let's say. Um, so sure my question was: Is well, it? I think it would affect anything building on the south side of that site. But I think it's mainly parking lots. lots. Most of the times, it's parking lots. Well, it would still be an impact, though. Yeah, but the question is: Can we ask for an overlay? Uh, it's on mainly. Can we ask for an overlay of? The options with respect to the old map to having the appendix. I mean, on a certain this is just me. Yeah. On a certain level, I, I feel like um, this is there's going to be certain loose ends we're not going to be able to tie up okay. in the study, and this is it's sort of one of them. Um, and I would let it stand as it, as it is. A future project on this site is going to have to explore this thing and, and use a finalized document from the town. Yeah. Well, while, while I'm not intimately involved in this process, my impression is that there's a great deal of pressure on us to adopt the updated flood maps, and I think the likelihood of us <laughs> not doing it is small. Okay. And can I, can I uh, Maria? So um, I have asked again <laughs> about the flood maps, and I have gotten it in, uh, the latest promise is that they would be available um, in uh, actually sometime next week. Now, that doesn't, that means that they say that they're going to post them to the website. It doesn't, it, and we're going to receive them from AECOM. It doesn't mean it, 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 it has to go through a process still with the town. It has to, you know, has to have a hearing and has to be voted on. So it's they will not be accepted for months, right. right? But we should theoretically have them next week. But I've been promised that for a while. Um, so it could be a moot point, right? But um, yeah, uh, I. Th it seems that I if you do look through, the the different options, E, D, C. You know, it's it's all it's all fields there, and the only one I was looking at here, B, B, it it touches, parking lot, and um, I have no idea what the impact is with um, E Y fifty B because there's solar panels there but um, yeah it really is the the, on, the one and only option that it actually the a and b it touches parking lots what's the language in there again we just didn't address how it no no, no. The what's the thing. language in there again because i'm going to read it we understand yeah. the town of amherst is in the process <coughs> of updating the flood maps the options explored in the study are based on the new updated flood maps if the town does not update the flood maps, options presented here would need to be revised and may no longer be feasible. 
And I think what everyone is trying to get at is that it's not all of them that it impacts, it's just a subset of Can them. Can you change re revised to reviewed? Sure. Because then if you do, that's a completely accurate statement. Yeah. Yeah. All the options would have to be reviewed, and sure. they may not be feasible. Right. I like that. Yeah. It's better. I agree. Because okay. once you review it, you'll either revise it or you won't. It suggests for But you're definitely going to have to review it. That's <laughs> <laughs> very. But we haven't done that. Um, I have in page seven um, the UI thirty. The site is smaller. Does is that reflected on the cost on the site cost? I think it's not. Okay. I think that you may be right. It sounds like you check the backup and the estimate on that particular okay. analysis. Yeah, we have to send these kind of comments later so we don't address all this. No, I th that's fine. It's you just know. a very, very minor adjustment to the um, UI 30 project that um, I asked. I think it's the same on page 10, the power should be 50 and 30. So I just want to uh, have a procedural question for how we're going to do this because there's a lot to get through. So it seems that multiple people sent in comments. We are not aware of what other people commented, right? So right. the only person that has that is you and right. then Jesse. So I think um, it would help for minutes, but it would also help for the committee to, to be able to see what everybody else put in there and review that so that we all know what's, wh in there. what's what are the, yeah. not just to say, yeah, everything's hunky-dory because like, there may be disagreement, right? So, um, or, Whatever, but I, I just want to know how we should proceed on this, and should we have a compilation edit document for everybody to look at, or do we want to just uh, if you if you already have that, do we want to just literally just hammer through section by section right now? So that's what I'm. That's what I want to. The, the more likely scenario, is, since uh, Jesse has it, is to do that. To do a compilation document means I need to get them enough ahead be able to put them together um, but even then I can't send them out <laughs> because then I'm then it's you know there's yeah. been some inter interpretation that that is 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 like it is very debate, close to debate. Yeah. Yeah. exactly and so um, as, as painful as it is we just have to kind of go through section by section um, can I ask a question though? Also, go ahead. Just that. how many comment more comments do we have at this table that Jesse has on I have one more, a couple more. I mean, I, I, I sent in a bunch of things. Yeah, Mar Maria sent in. No, 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 no. <coughs> what I'm saying yeah. is, like, if we spent an hour and a half going through all of your comments. Do we have another hour and a half of comments that are sitting at this table that have never been sent in? Well, I don't know. Right. I have I don't two know more. I only, <coughs> only sent two more comments. Yeah. <coughs> you have two more comments? Yes. Can we get through those two comments and then, go, yes. then kick it to you to go through all of them? So uh, in page, between page 25 and 33, there are several things that I don't think they are for this project on that again, six, section 6.9. It mentions um, wall divider on the gym. It mentions middle school wing, yeah. lockers for yeah. classrooms inside, lockers for classrooms outside. I you can help I, them with the page, just help them out with the page. So I don't, ha I have the, so, the page the page the okay, so yeah. if we're talking about t page 25 of section 6.9, that is page 161 of the report. So, so from 25 to 33, there are several items that should be tightened. We don't have a middle school wing. Do we have a climbing wall? Section, section 6.9. Okay. Um, um, you don't have a climbing wall? I don't know, I'm asking. I don't know. <laughs> there's a well, climbing wall in the middle school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there's middle school. We <laughs> often put them into elementary schools. It's a horizontal, like okay, a I am. Um, yeah, um, so, and uh, lockers, the, here mentions lockers inside and outside classrooms. I don't know if it, that's relevant for I elementary schools. That was discussed to a certain extent, but. There are cubbies we, today. Before we dive into the detail okay. of the architectural narrative at this point, we've added an introduction to talk about 
the intent of this narrative is not to necessarily commit to these specifics, but to define a basic level of quality and cost okay. we typically see in a public elementary school. Okay, but then I would remove the middle school wing reference. Okay, if there's something completely boilerplate. In corridors. Uh, Where? 161. Give me a page. Yeah, yeah. I have page 32. Middle school wing appears on page 32 of 183. Okay. Yeah. So that's page 168. So just let you catch up first. Yeah. yeah. So where answer. where are we here? What, what's the, give me a location on The section page. is corridors. It's about corridors. halfway down the page. Got it. The blind casework. Slope tops, middle school. Slope tops, slope middle school. Slope tops. Spell that correct. Okay. And so does everything else besides, does, do we just, are we just striking middle school wing or what are we striking here? That's all I was going to do. Okay. Okay. And then on page 128 on the PDF, you can tell me which page is here. Well, all I can tell you is it's page 128 because <coughs> these pages aren't individual numbers. Which one are you, where are you, what section? Um, this is 6.9. Okay. What? This, is a, this is a table that begins with PV array comparison. Number 129. 129. I found it. 128. This page 128 uh, is the page before that, which is a very short page that begins with provide closest space. Okay. Right. So you're talking about this page? No, uh, I don't no. have it open. But with What's the word? Because at some point it talks about soil improvement and not peers. And other places talks about peers. Um, it talks, you talk in some places about the, the based on the survey that talks can you, about. Can you show it to us though? Because it's, it's hard. I, it's going to be hard for us to get any idea if people so don't know what you're talking about. 6.9. Okay, which 6.9? Uh, also, also, which 6.9? 6.9. Because there's two 6.9s. The latest 6.9. No, I mean, there's two 6.9s here. Um, there's one that begins with pricing structures and. One that begins with uh, price. Okay, patterns. I'm going to have to take send it later because I don't have it open and I'm going to be. Um, yeah. But it was the main major question it was it talks about soil improvement for the construction, and at some point in the report, we are talking about peers. Um, so I was wondering <coughs> whether the soil improvement, where it's referenced in 6.9, is the peers or different thing. I, th I had a similar comment, and, and may maybe it's a similar comment. So the existing conditions talks about 12-inch concrete piers that, that are used in the extant building, right? And in our discussion, there is talk about when there is a two-story building, talking mm -hmm. about piers, and when there is a one-story building, no piers. Is it the same? That my question was: Are we talking about the same kind of thing, or is no. it something else? Yeah, right. Else? So I can understand that's getting confused. Um, the piers in the existing building just run from the level of the floor slab down to the footing, which is about three or four feet down. The piers we're talking about in the ground improvement strategy is an aggregate pier. It's it's a stack of stone that goes from the bottom of the footing down to a certain elevation. It's 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 deep, uh, and it's it's making the ground um, stable enough that we can put a standard footing on top of it. So that is, I think, described in the technical aspects of the document, but um, it sounds like people are getting lost about that. Um, and I think we're using the right technical words, but we could include a, uh, an explanation somewhere, perhaps in the existing foundation summary that talks about peers. These are different from the aggregate peers described in the geotechnical or in the geotechnical as well. We can include an explanation. This is a different kind of peer than an existing building. And would that be helpful? I, I think so because, I mean, in the past, Richard has talked about, you know, oh, we thought we might have to do something, but we don't have to do that. So piles, the piles, right. piles, piles, piers, you're right. kind of it's 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 technical now, and I just yeah. want to make sure that people aren't confused. Like now we're going back and saying, oh, we need the piles, so we don't need the piles. We just right. need this. Uh, this is the same kind of work that you have been talking about. It is different than what is there now, but it is not the the more it's not the more yes. owners. Yes. That, I think we, we just need some clarity on that because it's gotten technical. Piers versus piles, um, and I think we put it in both places then. <laughs> 
Yeah, and sometimes you talk about ground improvement, and sometimes you talk about peer. So I think. Well, it may be accurate because on top of your ground improvement strategy, which is aggregate piers, you would have concrete piers to go from your footing up to your okay. slab on grade. Right. Sorry, that's right. confusing, but that's no, no. But no, that's no that's okay. This is as long as yeah. having a reality-based description yeah. of a complicated yeah. project is okay. Okay. So we'll Wait. we'll go ahead and try to provide some more sort of uh, <laughs> clues um, as to what we're talking about. Try to make it more. Yes. Um, that was, your, that was your two comments. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I received many, many comments from Anthony, and they were all very helpful, but they were all copy editing. You, would you agree? Yes, I, mean, I, would I would say, yeah. I see no need to talk about any of those. <laughs> nope. Um, because they're, they're all really good, but no one's going to argue when my spelling is wrong and commas are wrong. So let's move past those. Um, from Heather, I received a comment about the community outreach, but I think we dealt with that. From Maria, I received both copy editing and some content, which some we've discussed. I think it makes sense to just run through Maria's comments. Um, and that would be all of the comments that I received. So. If we can just briefly um, do Maria's. Did you have one I more? Had, yeah. I had two more. They might what have made it those? all the way. I'm sorry, continue. Um, they were the appendix of the accessibility report in the appendix. It's, yes. a, it's a draft version of it. I believe there's a final version of it. Has that been released? Yes. They, okay. uh, I know Mike forwarded it on to me, and I am 90% certain I've sent it on to, to Jesse. I might have just. Missed I mean, they've it. done I'll their work back. months ago. Totally. I'd be very yeah. surprised. It's done. Yeah. I'd yeah. like to. I'd like to link that from our. Oh, okay. Website. You can send me the link. Yeah. Because I, I got the draft, but I did not. So get you a can file. get that. I will start asking now because I know you asked me before and I just lost track. And the other comment I had was in the introduction in the geotechnical section. We don't talk about groundwater at all, and um, right. I think that's an important thing to have in the introduction. Because that's one of the primary things that the public is interested in to know when it comes to the feasibility of building on this site. Okay, I understand what you're saying. We could strengthen this. Um, I'm going to read what we have in the introduction for geotechnical, and then we can talk a little bit about how to best strengthen it. Actually, it's it's interesting. I think I would. I I read through that earlier and didn't really give it much thought, but I agree that the funny thing about the geotactical paragraph is it leans entirely on so based on like if you were if you were thinking of this as a complete thought it'd say so based on what was found here's how it can be managed and there's not even a sentence at the beginning to say here's what was, here was what was found and then they here's how it could be managed so it just needs to be some sort of introductory sentence Am I right? Or do you want yeah, me? I mean, there are talks about, I mean, do you want, do you just want to read what's there for? I, I would, um, maybe everybody has it in front is of them. Is this page six? Or is it page six, right? six. Okay, yes. Good. The results okay. of the geotechnical investigations identify recommendations for ground improvements for the foundations of a new two-story building at a cost of about 1% of the total project cost. Foundations for a one-story construction would be conventional spread footings. Blasting is not required, and the cost associated with mass rock removal is also not anticipated for this site. Groundwater can be managed utilizing new construction techniques. See section 4.5 for a more detailed analysis of geotechnical issues. So there actually is one sentence in there that talks about groundwater, which, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, yeah. I think adding what, I don't know. Yeah, no, I was just saying, but the question would be, normally, based on what follows, what, what is in here, You'd have at least an introductory sentence characterizing what was found, right? With regard to groundwater, right, it just shows up as something that can be managed, but it doesn't talk about a concern. So we could we could try to describe what's described elsewhere in terms of what they found in yeah. terms of groundwater. I mean, as simply as possible, since the yeah, yeah. one sentence more. I'm thinking. Yeah. Right, so if we go to. Um, I mean, uh, it references section mm -hmm. 4.5. Which does a good job of talking about. Right. Um, yeah. So, may, you know, if there is some um, yeah, there summation, yeah. uh, you know. Yeah. could pull that over. Yeah, yeah, a summary sentence in there. Yeah. yeah. That would be the ideal thing to do, because you don't want to do creative writing 
really in the, an executive summary you want specifically to be referencing what's already in the report. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. I think uh, the other thing is, it says at a cost of about 1%. I think it's less than 1%. Um, when people say at a cost of about 1%, you can say, like, say 1.5, 1.7. I think the very cost is less than 1%. It probably varies a little bit between option. I'd rather okay. leave that because okay. we're doing more executive level stuff. Um, I don't want to get into fractions of the percentage or talk about different costs for each option. Uh, okay. And, okay. At the, and at the feasibility study level, that's that's fine grade enough because any one of these things taken further, those numbers will change. Yeah, forgive, me for, forgive me for doing this, Jonathan. Yeah. But was that were those your comments that you? I had like two, and that was it. Okay. <laughs> so now, <laughs> now we're going to go back to you to go back through Maria's comments. Yeah, that's I'm just keeping this moving. So that's right. all of them, right? <laughs> that's that's all you received. I believe. Yeah, it's yep. true. I forgot about two. I apologize. Um, should we start from the last one or the first one? Uh, uh, no, you I take the con. You're controlling. All right, I'm in charge. So, Section six you know point nine. I want to start there because it says, yay, the summary <laughs> <laughs> So it's repeated there, um, and it's something you were looking for as you were reading through the report earlier. Yes. Should it be in a different place? Um, that's a good question. So we're referring to the existing condition summary map where we have the, the site map yeah. and, and the, 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 the wetlands lines. We, we um, put it in with the other diagrams at, in section 6.9, yes. where all the diagrams are. We could put it up earlier, perhaps, in the site um, site development section. It could show up there as so an image. Let me just see so does it make sense to have it like the black and white mm. instead of the black and white? That screenshot? Could go there. Maybe. Um, I, and um, my other comment was I, I like the, I like the full page one, just because it seems easier to read. You can read oh, the yeah. text in um, in there. It probably needs a little bit of a caption. Um, sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, if that can. I have one comment about the, the figure. Sometimes the lines are above <coughs> the fields, and sometimes they are below the fields. Within one figure, let me see. So, yeah, so here in page. 142. Um, are you talking about just like what um, the on the computer graphics? Yes, yes, the oh, computer yeah. graphics. Yeah. Sometimes in the computer graphics, it? sometimes the lines are above the fields, sometimes the lines are below the fields. Let me open. I don't know. I'm on page 142. So like on That's the, the existing on the, site. So like on the top right baseball fields. Yeah. Yep. The line goes below the fields, but on the but yeah. on the smaller baseball field, the line goes above the field. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, so it's, it's a, that's a minor obsession. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So we're gonna. Um, you're um, talking about moving the large map, yeah. that pre-map, yeah. to replace the, the black the black one. one. Yeah, is so there anything you were trying to prove or point out through that black one that you're losing by switching them? I don't think so. I think it's it's probably a good idea. Yeah, this has never a been a big. That's an incredibly process. ugly yeah. ink yeah. destroying yeah. Yeah. picture anyway. So. Yep. What page was that, that? Where the black one was? Fifty six. It'll look a lot nicer. Page fifty six. Okay. Keep rolling. Yes. Identify, okay, page 143 and 144. Identify the table, which is EUI 50, and the other is EUI 30 in the titles. That seems pretty doable. Um, and um, could you also put, I, I might not have um, sent it in my, my notes, but as I was going through, um, we got we yeah. have the red site scope boundary line. It this, might, do this we? says it here, right, EUI 50, EUI 30. What page are you page on? It's a different page, though. Oh, wait. Yeah. Does it? Are you doing 143 of the PDF? Yeah. 143 of, uh, um, yeah, 6.9, page 143. They're full page graphs. The full page ones, yeah. 
And then uh, um, just a uh, minor point. We right. know what the red lines are, that they're the site scope boundary lines, but Are I don't think it, it's ever written. It says it real small oh, right there. Tiny. So oh. I can make it bigger. I would yeah. make that bigger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. just so people know what the red is. No one reasonably about. is going to be able to read Where? that. No, I get it. That makes sense. Oh, construction. So really tiny. <laughs> yeah, got it. OK. Um, and not at Sorry, I could. I page 151 identifies EUI 50. Yeah. I think that's going to be the same comment. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it's the same thing. Okay. Now we're in the introduction. There's a couple text edits, but as far delete, but <coughs> I'm not going to even go through these. We're just going to yeah. make the English. And yeah, text. and then um, yeah. What page is this? Page five. Um, just um, I suggested when we're talking about the wetlands, you know, moving wetlands, just saying or you can revise what you've got and not infringe on the wetland. You can, you can revise the field stuff. Yes. Um, okay. Possibly, yes. Poss yeah, uh, and I don't care if it says possibly, that's right. fine. Yep. Right, so okay. did, did you all follow so that's that? in the introduction. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The bottom of page five, a note on process, the options were initially conceived and developed. Right? Is that where you are? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that paragraph. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So just like a little no, no, addendum. No, no, I addendum. Yeah. I got it. Yep, yep. Uh, I'm just saying this. Yep. Yes. Page yes, six. We, in the introduction, we say there are many restrictions, and we'd rather go with some restrictions. Um, and I'm fine with that. Some or many. It's kind of the same. The site is sufficiently add after that sentence. The expansive, relatively flat topography provides large areas for outdoor play space and fields. Uh, and that's where we say the site is sufficiently large enough to allow setbacks. And, and I, I think this writing is fine. It's what section is that, though? This is in section six. Okay. It's under the site conclusions. And it's just elaborating a little bit on basically the same idea we have, saying that the, we say the site is large enough, and the idea is to say it's an expansive, relatively flat topography that provides large areas for outdoor play space and fields. Right. Same concept. Is constant. So I'm, I'm happy to do that. Um, the project costs still on the same page. Oops, page number again? Sorry. Page six. Oh, next page. All the way in the front. Oh, yeah, we're back to the introduction now. Yeah. Sorry, you're really jumping around there. Just going in the order. Babe. It's okay. It's, yeah. um, where is the project cost still? Oh, here it is. It's under the net zero bylaw. Yeah. Uh, so I think this said? is what we discussed. This earlier. is what we discussed already. EUI fifty versus thirty. Oh, okay. Is well, it what's so, you know? Is so it cheaper or not? So we're not going over not? that again. We already talked yeah. about it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just if, if I'm right, no, no, great. If I'm wrong, yeah, fine. Keep going. <laughs> keep going. Page seven. There was there was a fair. Well, there was some overlap between multiple comments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Partly it's just me now recognizing which comment means what. Page seven. While either method potential cost savings. So under project delivery method. method. Right. At ten percent lower total project costs. So just spell it out that G C is ten percent lower than C M method. Yes. I can do that. Yeah, there's no problem. reason not to do that. Okay. Now we're gonna jump to section six. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute, <laughs> yes, one more thing. Uh, gross one. and net project costs. Um, just in there um, to talk about uh, uh, I I think I suggested adding reimbursement from the MSBA can be maximized by taking care of, taking advantage of various incentives, including those for green efficient building, renovation, reuse, and maintenance best practices. Just to kind of to sum up the reimbursement. We can make a link to the table. Okay. Yeah, that's part of the MSBA's um, yeah. whole system of incentivization. Yeah. So yeah. we could summarize it there as part of the conclusion. That makes sense. So what page? What page on section six? Actually, that, that, that was still one. Was still no, no, no. I get it. Oh. We're moving forward. Uh, page three in section six, okay. which is page one twenty. Yes. Okay. Now we're talking about renewable energy systems. I'm now confused about this. If we can't do power purchase agreements, yeah, it's so the whole power purchase thing. We already discussed power. We purchase did. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Page <laughs> seven. The next page. Oh, I had one comment there. Um, I think it's um, to make clear that it's only to cover the new constructions, I think, for A and B. 
uh, no burning fields, fields shall take place on site. That only applies, <coughs> the bylaw only requires for option A, where right? there's completely new building. But I don't understand the question. Try me one more time. So, in the atmosphere of energy bylaw, um, it says no burning of fossil fuels shall take place on this site. That's for completely new building. All the new construction areas cannot burn fossil fuels. So that affects the additions and the new Yes, but I think that it has to be clear with the new construction areas. Because here it says pertain to the Fort Worth School study. Um, Okay. 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 Keep going. We're on stage seven now, which is yeah. past the net zero. Yep. Yes. It's it's right smack in the. the it's in that. Um, the EUI fifty versus thirty. Yeah. Here, go four pages ahead, page seven of that section. So yeah. this is basically the same stuff, different location, fifty thirty. Well, what, was, so what, was the com what was the comment? The comment is asking on page seven: um, Does the MSBA reimburse for the cost of solar panels? Um, if not, we need to make sure. So we already this talked about yes. that. Yes. Yep. So I think this one's covered. Yep. Why don't you read them to yourself and figure out whether we need to talk to them and then mention it if we need to? I'm not trying to be a jerk, but I'm no, like, no. I, I don't want to. Yeah. Keep circling through things we've already talked about. Right. Ten and eleven. Yeah, are people okay with that? Doing um, this is this was the multi. Um, I was okay with everything we talked about so far. Yeah. All right. Plus others weren't, but I mean the same. That's I'm assuming as we're rolling, if there's a disagreement, we're talking about it at the time. Yes. And if there isn't a disagreement, then it means people have agreed. I'm sorry, John. I, I realize I'm co facilitating this. That's all right. Page 11 is just English. We'll yeah. spell yep. out the acronyms. Yep. And in page 11, I wanted to include 465 pre K 6 students in the design options on the table on the top. What page are we on? It says page 11. Mm -hmm. Page it's just to clarify that 465 is pre-K-6. Pre-K-6 because it's different footprint uh, area if you have 465 kindergarten through 6th grade than if you have pre-K through 6. We can add pre-K-6 yeah, yeah. in the top of this table. Uh, doesn't fit, but we'll find a way. Yes. Pre-K-6. Oh, yeah, okay. Sounds yeah, good. Yeah. Yep. No problem with that. Um, moving to the next page. There's something about lease info on this page? Is yeah, it's just that I think we, uh, this is another place ADA. where it's own versus lease. Oh, right. That's um, we talked about that already. Yeah. But the I'm other sorry. comment I had on this table is um, the option that we have listed, the Fort River option A, own PV or lease PV, is an EUI 30 option, right? Yes. And I think we just need to clarify whether the benchmarks do we know if, I mean, it would be nice if we knew if those, uh, the other schools that the MSBA have done, are they EUI 30 or are they EUI 50? Are they conventional or, or because? Chances are they're a higher EUI because we're looking forward and those projects are behind us. Yeah, so I think, it, it, that, I think it's noteworthy because as you're comparing these two things, it's good to know that what, what you're saying is our EUI 30 option compares favorably to previous EUI 50 options, if that's, if that's what your, if that's what Correct. your points. <coughs> we could add an asterisk to that effect. Yeah. Um, okay. It, I mean, you could put an asterisk, but frankly, since you have a narrative description at the top, you could put it, in it would probably, be, assuming anyone reads the narrative description, that's to me where you want to put that information, <coughs> because you're saying, it the, you're introducing that it's an EUI 30, and then you're comparing it to other projects. I think you'd want to say those projects. If you're not absolutely positive, it's you'd say 
Mo are, you know, are almost certainly were done at the higher EOI right. of at least 50. Something like that. Yeah, yeah but yeah. I, would, I think it has to be clear on the table because then many it, people... Then Jesse, put it both places. Yeah. Just when you no, I don't... I, don't I, I think yeah. this is my, a comment it's I have for do. general uh, throughout the report. Not many figures have captions or reference at the tables. And many times when you are reading something, you you look at the picture, you look at the caption, and then you look at the text. Um, at least that's how I read documents. And many times I read documents. So if the figures are not self-explanatory, then you have to start reading many places to try to understand what things. So maybe add to more of the figures uh, description caption. I don't know if this is how it's done in architecture, but in the reports I write, the figures all are self-explanatory. Um, Let's put it in both places. Let's make it as self-explanatory as possible. Yeah. yeah okay. okay, now we're going to move to section four. It's a small question here, but it does reference um, other people in the group. Um, page two. Okay. And uh, the statement is with regard to the Amherst Pelham Regional School District, um, which is listed in the second sentence there on page 56 or page two of section four. Um, and the question is, should it just be Amherst School District in this case? This is really a question for you, Eric, just to, be, you know, to clarify, especially with the recent stuff going it's on about only, regionalization. It's really only the Amherst School District. Right. So this I think is the elementary schools. It's just the Amherst School District. Yeah, I think we, we have a supervisory care. union that, for solely for the purposes of hiring a superintendent, include both Amherst and Pelham. But when we're talking about this building and district, it's only the Amherst School District. And regionalization is off the table, right? Right. right. So it's like, well, it's not. They it, finally. No, done? no, no. It hasn't um, happened yet. No, um, <laughs> I thought what I read made it sound like it was. <laughs> it's no, not. Actually, it's funny. The way I the way I read what I read <laughs> was that the regionalization board was. Openly deliberating on the subject, despite we, the fact that we, 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 we really <laughs> I don't should care. not comment on. No. <laughs> I I wasn't editorializing it anyways, despite the tone of my voice. <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> um, on the same page, though, there's a comment that we should delete the sentence that says the section of town is much less dense and has a lot of open space and natural resources. Um, it's not essential to our analysis in any way, so I, I think we can delete that. It's true we haven't done any studies of catchment area density yeah. relative yeah. to town school districts. Yeah, so I would, because I don't know, compared to what? Yeah. There are plenty of other parts of town that are equally dense. Yeah, if you look at the following map, you can see Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of people are in there. Yeah, so I'm happy to make that change. We'll do it. Um, I have a, I had a, a request for page six, page 60 of the report, where you have the topography. Mm -hmm. I think you can, we know this map pretty well, and I can distinguish where the school is, but if you could overlay shady where the school is currently situated. Yes, that, that's one of Maria's comments here, and we'll, we'll do that, um, okay. no problem. It's easy. Insert figure caption on page eight. Um, we can add a caption to the rare species diagram on page eight. That's not okay. a problem. I think you'd all agree with that. Yeah. Again, for clarity on page ten, make that make the graphic more clear by using an arrow um, to connect the Fort River. So page sixty-four. Page sixty-four. Yes. Um, and then there's a little language adjustment for the purposes, changes to by the town. Um, where is that? Does that affect meaning or is that just? No, that's, that's a typo. A it's typo. just a, it's a, a, but I did suggest some rewording about the floodplain. Floodplain. Um, I suggested in that paragraph eliminating the, uh, everything from eliminating on and inserting the following language as a suggestion. Flood insurance would therefore not be necessary um, uh, if the ant um, uh, oh flood insurance would therefore not be necessary. Period. The previous 1983 flood map 
floodplain mapping would only, uh, well, I say here would only have impacted option A, but that might, you know, we might want to get a little fuzzy there because it's actually A and B for parking lot. Um, if the anticipated updates are not accepted, this option would require revision. It's kind of the same wordage review, review yeah, yeah, <laughs> thing. I, I, that's, it's, it just happened to be in two places. Right, we don't really speak too much about options in se section four. Uh, the options come in later in the report. We can, we can start to tie it. Well, you say the development options proposed in section six. So you're referring to options actually in, in the right. second paragraph. Yeah, I mean, it's just to generally. That no, no, I know, but, but they, if you talk about reviewing them, right. then that's also general, but at least it ties it together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we'll bring the reviewing sentiment here. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to play a little bit of timekeeper. Um, we are currently scheduled to go until 10:15. Mm -hmm. It is yeah. now 10 o'clock. Okay. But we're looking to try to vote on this today. Well, we'll we'll see. I, I would like to uh, do that if we can. Um, okay, how many more comments are there? Getting through it. Um, Not. A as I recall, not, not that we've discussed a lot of them already. There's about 10. The line in the red outline um, change to indicates the boundaries of Fort River School site. It's really just adding a comment yeah, to that it. diagram to make it more clear. Suggest so moving the photographs to the appendix on page 15. Yeah, page 66. Oh, page starting with I think page 69. 69 yeah. forward. We have most of the reports at the back. And here showing all these pictures here, I think makes the flow. Mm. We have all the, the infrastructure and reports and conditions at the back. Right? Yeah, but that's because they're not our original work generally, right? They're incorporating other people. I, I think these, this works well here. I guess the, the, the photos being there didn't bother me. No, I think this is I think this is good because also it goes through all of the you know the site plans stuff afterwards. Okay, I think I'm hearing maybe it's okay where it is. I, I feel like it's okay too, but I'll do what the group wants to do. That it is a suggestion. Okay, on page 75, page 21, making a legend visible, we can do that. Um, and the, the figure on the top, right? Yeah, yeah. it needs a yeah, same thing, captions, um, figure. And then the other legend you're going to read. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and then the only other comment I had, this was page 87, and it's the same thing we've already talked about, Piers Pyle's clarification. Okay. We're going to do that. And we've yeah. talked about that. Yes. Five. Seems like all options meet the first trigger. Is this true? So you're talking about structural um, capacity of the existing structure as it was reviewed by the structural engineer. Talking about whether um, certain triggers in the building code are met. Um, I believe it is true. I think that's what it says in the narrative that all options meet the first trigger. We're, um, what page are we on? So we're on uh, page 116. And I just want to, I mean, it, it, I got a little confused and maybe just a little clarity that, you know, we talk about, oh, we have the, the first trigger, uh, or yes, meet all of these thre three things. And just to maybe be just like blatantly say like, and they all do, except for option F. Only option F does not meet this, right? Because option F is not doing um, Reconfiguration. reconfiguration of over 50% of the building area. Otherwise, do, if they all meet it, I think we should just be clear about it and say that first trigger is met by everything but our okay. option F. And it gets a little confusing because we've <laughs> got these design categories that are, have letters too. It just, yeah, it's, it's just it's a, little a little technical. technically confusing. That's all. That's all can, for five. Can maybe just to distinguish 
the buildings from these building categories, can you put them in italic <coughs> or some other font? So that put what in italics? The six building size categories B, C, D, E, or F. Either, I mean. Oh. So that to distinguish between the options A, B, C, D, F of the buildings, or don't put them in capital letters, put them in. Um, I don't know how you how yeah. I think useful if, that is. I think if you have them written in a different way, you have to think twice. Why I'm is it different? I'm okay with what Jesse. Jesse, do you yeah. what, are you, what are you thinking right now? I'm thinking, okay, I get the point about option F not being clear, clearly noted as not meeting the first trigger. So I can add that comment here. Um, as for describing seismic design categories different from options, they're labeled seismic design categories. So okay. I feel like that's yeah. clear. Um, so I don't know, I could italic I'm, as well. I'm totally it's not a difference. It, it's not a when you're getting into the, the, to me, when you're getting into certain technical weeds, as it were, it's going to be a, People are going to have to read it closely. Yes, um, yeah, I'm fine with that. And it's just, unfortunately, it's going to be impossible to make it perf perfectly intelligible to the laypers. Okay, so where are you next? We're into section three. Section two had no comments. Um, <coughs> page 37. Yes. There's a comment about the square footage, this 85,000 square feet. Um, note that other options have other values. We could go into explaining why there are discrepancies in the values of the different options. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to note that these, these numbers are for option A and the others are slightly different so people aren't confused. That was all. I don't think we have to add any like other numbers to here. It's okay. nice, clean. It, it's just to say these are option A. Okay. That's all. No problem. It's almost something you'd put in the footnote there yep. the, or the caption yeah. underneath the table. Uh, yeah, that would be easy to do. And, and I would say, I would say again pre K six four sixty five on the caption. Okay. We can do that. Okay. We're getting through it, I swear. Um. Okay, we will note that the art and music rooms, which are intermittently used, could be used multi-purpose areas for other things as well. Anyone have an issue with that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, at the bottom of page three, um, we'll adjust the wildwood population to 420 from 400. Uh, I believe our notes said 400, but 420, if that's what it really is, we'll, we'll use that. On page four, We'll add a comment indicating the need for separate administration space for pre-K, um, which makes sense to me. Um, no objections? Nope. Page 5 through 16, we'll change the order of the space summaries. Um, probably reorient them in my binder. No to problem. start it with 465 and go down to 315 since 465 is our, is our most prime. frequent. Right. And then we're into section eight, the appendices, um, page 62. We're into the estimate, I would expect. Why does option C list 10,000 square foot for wetlands? Narrative says 3,000 square foot. It needs to be double the amount of wetlands because town bylaw requires the- Oh no, I get that. Yeah, but in the, in the previous feet. edition, it said 3,000 and then doing five, 6,000. Yeah, so but it, and it just changed to 10,000. So did, did you just figure out that you actually need- increased to five in this version. Okay. We identified uh, additional wetland- That's fine. I just want to make sure that- A um, bit more. That the, I just want to- it, it was different from the previous- Right. One. And so fine. then that's correctly reflected in the estimate as 10,000. That's um, fine. I just, that was my only no question there. We wanted to have a summary map. We've discussed that already. Page 160, add a brief statement to indicate the Gale Roof study was conducted as a result of a separate... I thought we had that in the introduction to the Gale study, no? No. Okay, we it, can it add just that need, it. Just so it's clear that why, because it's weird to have the roof report be by a different consultant than the other space, than the other existing conditions. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Yes, the, there was a previous yeah. study yes. that got right. included. And you're just making note of that? Yeah. yeah. You're going to need to flip to find that comment and just put it down. 
Yeah. Let's just do yeah. it. Not making it make sense. It's driving me nuts because I thought we did that. I mean, it dropped out. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, oh, we're almost done. Yes. <laughs> Yay. There's a typo on page 205, duplicated A in the second oh, paragraph. Oh, that's a typo. Yeah. We'll get that. Okay. That's I have it. one more substantive thing, okay. which I noticed actually since I sent you the things. And on page 48, um, and I don't know why this is the first time I've noticed it, but this total gross area, this is with, with all the AM Fogarty stuff, option B has enormous total gross area compared to the others. It's in the 100,000 range as opposed to the 80,000. Um, so was that just an oopsies or is that for real? So like you know, total in, in near the bottom of the table. Um, it, could, it also makes the, 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 no, the it cost is, per square foot. That cell is picking up the ground improvement right, I incorrectly. So. Yeah. so that's just a typo. Yeah. We'll get that. Okay. And it'll, it will change your, the cost per square foot significantly. Because that's just a division. Correct. It's yeah. just re reporting the wrong cost for square yeah, foot I since we added ground. It just looked wonky. Yeah. I don't think that cost per square foot is reported elsewhere. So we're um, no, but if we do the table differently, it will be. You know, the, if we if we change that the the big summary table to be cost per square feet instead of um, okay, construction costs, it's going to then it would be reported it, elsewhere. Yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. Okay. I I got that. That's a typo, basically. Okay. Any others? All right, we're done with that process. I think we're done with that process. Now, I, and I'm, I'm going to preface the my my discussion about voting on this with the you know in a sense this is not going to be complete today because Jeff has got to go away and do all the 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 typos and whatnot and at some point we're going to have to incorporate the outcome of the. Um, other estimating process, but I'm hoping we can kind of, if folks are amenable, to kind of vote that we're comfortable with this as our final draft um, that we'll oh, get. Close discussion. Yes, exactly. Way. That's a good way to put it. Can I have a motion, or do people want to talk about it first? I have a minor concern about the optics, where we're not. Yep. We have had we have a couple of people that have not weighed in on this at all, who are members of this committee. Uh, the difficulty of dragging them in here is probably too great to really remedy that, but I don't love the fact that we're not at full strength on where we're in this thing. I, I, I agree with your with your concern. Um, we we provided options for people to be able to dial in today. Um, you know, and we could have had email opportunities to send comments. To send in well. comments, exactly. Um, you know, I can also be talked out of voting on it today, um, but if we can begin to to move it on, I, I would like us to do that. We're still going to have to have some housekeeping meetings to, to close out some items. Um, Eric? Move to accept the current draft as uh, edited or amended. I would second that. Yeah, you just second, is it? Yes. Okay, you've seconded it. We've given a million opportunities for people to weigh in on this thing, multiple times, multiple meetings. If they're not here, they're not here. Yeah. I think if people had big concern, they would. They would. Not to mention the fact that if, if some, I imagine if somebody came forward with a significant sub, the non-edit, like not editing, but like non-editorial concern that actually said, "Oh my God, you missed something on page 78." Who amongst us is not going to look and say? Holy crap, I can't believe we missed that. Hat. Right. Let's yeah. change it. No one's going to be unreasonable like that. Okay. All in favor of Eric's motion? Any discussion? Uh, Sorry, any discussion? I, <laughs> I would like to see, uh, maybe I'm going back and the issue about there must be a reimbursement of the solar panels or not. I think, I think uh, we have to fear. I think that's part of the revision, right? Yes, that's part of the revision. That's already been. Yeah, we've you're already, already doing it. About that. yeah. That's yes. one of the things we just accepted. Yes. That's why it was accept the draft as amended okay. and edited. And with all the, the the small grammatical edits that need to be made right. as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
All in favor? Motion passes. <coughs> Were we scheduled originally to meet with the school committee? Very soon. Like next week? Yes, and, and I've, I've <laughs> talked a little bit about, so, so about moving on to the next item, which is, you know, so meetings with other groups, I can give a little bit of an update. Um, Mike still has a item in his agenda for the next meeting, which is, I think, a week from... It's next week. Yeah. Tuesday. A week from today. From today. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> I mean, literally next week. But he's given me a like ten or fifteen minute slot, so it's really a. It's not going to be a deep dive into this, it's, and I, I think that's okay at this point in the sense that we still need to go through the final costing option. Um, this is me speaking for myself now. Um, it's kind of an update saying we're nearly done, and highlighting the at least in my head highlighting the items that are still open, um, and giving a, a, a sense of the timeline for that. Um, so more of a school committee update yes, about where we're less of a final presentation. Yeah, this isn't the presentation. No, because I don't think we're quite there yet. I think we like at least I think we would should probably have the outcome of the of the the cost. Yeah, so, they, so you wouldn't want us there. You wouldn't need the architect there. For I, I don't think so. No, I, I'm perfectly comfortable going and doing a, a ten or fifteen minute a brief kind of update, and then when we have the final data, the final piece of data, and the great big book, <laughs> dropping it dramatically on the table and, and waking everybody up. <laughs> uh, but that that would have to be scheduled a little later once we have the outcome of that, and we're all going to have to get back together to talk about that as well. Well, I think it would be important to be able to advertise to the public that that's really our kind of closeout right. presentation to the public, too, so I would like the opportunity to advertise it in a press release and say, we're going to present our final report, you should show up. Yeah. Part of that audience, so if we, we can't do that next week because we can't advertise it. <laughs> no, there isn't enough time, and, and we're not quite there yet. No, also, we need, we need the final report. It has to be the final report, right. it has to be the cost estimator, it has to be everything. Which relates to the question of how many of these are we actually going to get bound up um, somewhat. And I think we need a couple, at least one for the library, um, one to actually hand off, at least one to hand off to the, to the school committee. Um, I don't know of other places. The it superintendent's might, office? Maybe, yeah, I guess Mike would or shoot is that one and the same with the school committee, or is yeah. that two different? I, know, I don't know. think that somebody, that yeah, the school I, committee member is going to I would call it. Yeah. 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 No. And then let it live in the yeah, school there, Is there anywhere in the, the town, town hall? I think, think the town hall needs one. The town hall, town, I don't know if we need a physical copy, honestly. I, you might just want the digital. I mean, that's the thing. A lot, a lot of these things today, you print very few of them physically. You want the physical one to actually reference in a place, um, and that's where I think one for the library and one for library, Mike's office. Library, um, school district. Why don't we, can you leave that question of whether there's a need for a third or fourth copy open? Yeah. It's because like maybe, can somebody maybe ask that but also, yeah, because we should ask the question, because also maybe the superintendent wants the facilities director would want another copy. Right. Like literally, in which case, why wouldn't we make a two? Right. Who's going to ask that question so we have that resolved? I can ask the question. Thank you. Okay. Uh, well, but what about item uh, three on our little review? So I have I've emailed back and forth a little bit with Lynn Grisheimer, um, the chair, and tentatively they're going to put something on their calendar for the meeting they're having July first. Um, she wants to limit it to fifteen minutes, and so it would have to be kind of a brief presentation. I think we need to talk when we have more time about what that presentation is, whether TSKP is coming, whether we feel like we want to have TSKP come and make that presentation, or if it's some members of the committee doing that. And so we can talk a little bit, a little bit about it now, or we can spend more time at a future meeting doing that. You know? At 15 minutes, I, I, Paul forwarded me the correspondence. Yeah. At 15 minutes with no opportunity for addition, for no dedicated public comment period, I don't know that it's worth it to make a big thing of it. Just and, and have TS if you come. Yeah. I think that the answer to that is we get more than 15 minutes. I think this is important. This is important for this project, for future projects, yeah. for a few other town projects. I think um, I think we should have TSKP there. I think this should be, um, I think we should have the time that we need to do it. In, in that case, I'd say at our July 1, at the July 1 meeting, we asked them to schedule us for something bigger. Um, I mean, we can't we can't make them give us more time, but we can <laughs> true. we can encourage it. Right. 
This and is so the last thing on their mind right now, unfortunately. Yeah, they, but the budget will be done by then. Yeah. So this will be post budget, and they, they can. I, I think they well, need to hear it. So fifteen minutes, you could basically read off the executive summary. Yeah, though. and and you know, if we feel like that's the executive summary, like I don't. It seems. I mean, the question, I guess one of the things I'd love to know. See, you've had the email correspondence with Lynn. Yes. Is I mean, is it's a funny question to ask. But I, I, I can't figure out whether this is just, is it just because it's so low? They're just really busy with other things and they just can't I, I, I think spare so. the time I mean, for the conversation? I, I, I was a little, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll say this on camera, I was a little passive aggressive in my email to her um, because Paul hadn't gotten back to me. So yeah, I yeah, said, yeah. could you at least respond to me and say whether you want us to come? Mm -hmm. um, and Anthony's got them, so he, you can tell me by mischaracterizing my own statements. Uh, mostly so that we could actually, I could actually report something back to this group mm -hmm. and say, okay, yes, no, or otherwise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I mean, I'm personally, I could be comfortable either way, either doing a 15 minute presentation and saying, if you want a deeper dive, we'll bring TSKP back, um, or saying, you know, if if you only can give us 15 minutes now, yeah. then maybe we should wait until you can give us more time. Um, but I mean, well, this information is available in other yeah. forms. I mean, it's an advertisement, right? It's another way to advertise what's available. I don't think you need to make everybody on the council who may or may not have particular interest in the subject um, make them sit through that. You know, yeah. you're saying this information is available. This is where you can go get it. This is the work we did. Yeah. And I think you can cover all of that in 15 minutes. Yeah, I mean, I, the, the, I the impression that Lynn gave in her email was that council members attended uh, our public events she feel, the implication was that she felt like they had her a lot. So, I don't know. Are we in it? I, think, we, I think we put a lot of effort that I think, well, maybe we put a lot of effort at everyone. Yeah, we have a lot of material to be instructive oh, and sorry. we can feed a lot. The projects that Mary was saying, there's the, the, the statement of interest. So, I think it's a very short vision saying, oh, just. Oh, we can read the executive summaries. That's it. I think we have to have time for questions and answers. The, for most likely, they're going to have questions. And I think we want to be a little bit deeper because of, we have been all to back and forth. So you are 30 or 50. What does it mean? The age? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe the challenge, is, the, the, the challenge is ultimately it's the town council's decision how they want to run their own meetings. Yeah. And so, I mean, the reason I asked my question about how much discussion there have been is what you want is you want the decision that's made by the council to not be, I don't mean this negatively or pejoratively, I'm just saying factually, you don't want it to be an off the cuff decision where after the fact they say, oh, hmm, maybe we would have liked to have gotten the, the, you know, the consultants yeah. in while we could have under contract to meet with us. So you want it to be a considered decision as opposed to sort of a, an off-the-cuff one, but um, do you want to, want to, want to try circling back on this? I, I, not, I don't mind at all. I mean, July 1 is still a way as well. Yeah. yeah. I have a comment. By the way, do we need quorum for that? I want... Well, it would, it would all depend upon what the nature of it is. I think we can make... I don't think it would be a joint meeting, so the, the short answer is no. We don't need to have quorum for that. Folks can attend who want to attend. Um, in fact, we'd probably be careful honestly did not have quorum so we didn't accidentally <laughs> have a joint meeting um, and if it's TSK presenting that's particularly easy in that regard. Maria? I really want to argue strongly for having a more formal more complete presentation um, you know we are going to be delivering this product to the school committee but it is equally important to deliver this to the town mm -hmm. um, there have been multiple questions by um, town councilors at various venues about the work that we're doing and we would have done I think a presentation to town meeting had you know and, and I think I think this this needs to get to the council in complete form. If uh, given that does it make sense for people who feel a way to you know, contact their counselors and have them encourage putting that, this on, on that, the agenda? That, that is true. That's that's another that's I another there, way to work if the sentiment that you I think have we're about to get kicked out is that yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're, we're wrapping Hi. up, we promise. Sorry to okay. um, I did book this for another group. Um, yeah. I had booked you guys till 10, and they're starting to arrive. Okay, so yes. We will, Thanks. Sorry. We will, we will close <laughs> okay. out. Thank you. And, and with that. Now we need to vote on the. <clears throat>
So we feel that budget. Um, I don't. Yeah, we we don't have next. time to review it. We have. We have. The, we have their possibly last invoice. Are we ready? Move to, to approve the invoice for TSKP. Second. All in favor. Uh -huh. There. Okay. <laughs> if there's. No, everything else we'll table. We, 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 we're going to need to do a couple housekeeping things. Uh, we need to vote to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Second. All in favor.